The CBW150AX access points and CBW151AXM mesh extenders are the latest generation of the Cisco Business Wireless product line. In this series, Wi-Fi 6 specific setting options have been added to the web user interface of the APs. A few things to note. The CBW150 series is not compatible with the 140 or 240 series. Coexistence on the same LAN is not supported. Although you have the ability to configure or change these options, in most cases, it is recommended that you keep them at the default. Since these options can be customized, I'll review those today. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you some optional Wi-Fi 6 specific settings on Cisco Business Wireless CBW 150 series access points. Next. When you first log in, you are in standard view. Click the double arrows on the top right of the screen to be in expert view. This gives you additional menus and options. I'll start with some of the more common things you might want to customize. Under the advanced menu and then RF optimization, you can see the target wait time, TWT, and basic service set, BSS, color configuration. These are global settings that apply to all of your access points and mesh extenders. TWT and BSS coloring can be used to allow more functionality with dense networks. So when you broadcast a TWT that has Wi-Fi 6 access point and mesh extenders connecting to Wi-Fi 6 clients, they will be notified that this feature is supported. This prevents clients from having to listen for other wireless traffic or have defined wait periods before they start working on the network. BSS coloring sends a flag out telling the devices the access point you are joining and the details for wireless communication versus just ignoring it, which is the default. Another place you can individually configure some options is under wireless settings and then access points. Here, you can edit the settings on an access point or mesh extender. When you go to the radio tab, you can decide if you are pulling the global BSS color configuration, the default, which automatically assigns this BSS color flag, or configure a custom setting for this particular device. You can decide if you want BSS color to be on or not. That's one of the things that you can do to take advantage of Wi-Fi 6. So here, I'll select on and specify the channel assignment between one and 63. Once again, most of the time, you'll want to leave it at the default. The last area I'll highlight for customization is under WLAN settings. Once under WLANs, click edit and advanced. Scroll down to see the options to turn on support for some of these advanced BSS configurations that take advantage of Wi-Fi 6, downlink and uplink multi-user MIMO and OFDMA. If you have a network that needs backward compatibility with older gear, you may wanna change this. However, in almost every scenario, you will want to leave this on for all of your wireless networks. The last of the Wi-Fi specific settings you might configure is under monitoring, network summary, and then access points. It will take a minute for this menu to come up. You can select here how you want the BSS color setting to display as a column. Here, you can see the color assignment that's added for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. In this example, I've got only Wi-Fi 6 gear near me, so this is assigned BSS color 1. If I had more access points, we might see some differences. There you have it. A quick tour of the Wi-Fi specific settings for the 150 series access points. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.